If you want to dress sharp, you can spend a lot of money on clothing. But don't worry, even if you're on a tight budget, you can still dress sharp without breaking the bank. Thomas with Real Men Real Style here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to put together 5 outfits for only $100. So what's the secret to getting all this great clothing for cheap? The answer? Thrift stores. Today I'm going to see what I can put together for a casual summer wardrobe. Mission success, so let's go over the haul and see how much we saved. For shirts, I got this polo from Goodfellow. It usually retails at $17. Next is a polo from Banana Republic. Typical retail is $70. This blue gingham button down is from Gap. Retail is $60. Next is the short sleeve button down from Denim and Flower. It looks like it goes for around $25. Finally, I grabbed this striped button down from Sonoma, which retails at $40. You see what all these shirts originally cost, but I got them for only $6.24 each. One was marked down even further at $3.12. For the pants, I got a pair of blue jeans from Banana Republic, which go for $130. Next up is a pair of burgundy chino shorts from Gap. Retail price is $45. These khaki chinos are from Gap as well at $60. Next up are some navy shorts from Express which come in at around $68. Finally, I got a pair of khaki chino shorts from Banana Republic, which cost $70. So what did I actually pay? The jeans only cost $8.24, the chino pants were $6.24, and the shorts were all $5.24. Not bad at all. I wasn't able to find a brand name on this belt, but it would probably cost between $15 to $20 normally. I snagged it for $2.99. These Sperry Topsider boat shoes retail for $100. I spent $24.99, which does make it the most expensive piece on this list. And finally, I'm going to cheat and add this pair of suede saddle shoes from Johnston & Murphy that I picked up on a different trip to the thrift store. I don't know the exact price, but it originally probably went for around $150. I was lucky to snag it for only $8, which brings our grand total to $101.25. Now, let's see these pieces put together. All right, gents, whether you're using an electric safety or cartridge razor, consider using an aftershave balm. Applying this after you shave helps to cool the skin and prevent redness. Now, gents, the grooming products you see in today's video brought to you by Vitaman. And instead of me telling you how awesome they are, how about I put a link down in the description of today's video so you can try them for free. Seriously, gents, use that link in the description to grab a sample kit over at Vitaman for free. Outfit number one brings in that green polo shirt in a peak fabric. It has striping on the collar, pocket, and cuffs, which gives it a vintage feel. The shirt is matched with those chino shorts in the khaki color. And of course, I brought in the belt, which matches well with the green and brown color palette. The fit on the shirt and shorts is excellent. No tailoring needed here. Finishing off the look is those suede saddle shoes, which is a great look for spring, summer, or fall. Now on to outfit number two. For this look, I started with that striped gray shirt with a button-down collar. Keeping with the relaxed summer vibes, I rolled up the sleeves and paired the shirt with those burgundy red shorts for a preppy look. The shirt probably could come in a little at the waist, and the legs on the shorts could also be slimmed up a bit, as I do enjoy a closely tailored fit. Keeping with the preppy aesthetic, I finish off the look with those suede boat shoes. Let's move on to outfit number three. Time to bring in another polo shirt with the blue one from Banana Republic. Instead of a peak fabric, this one is made from a soft jersey knit in a heathered pattern. Overall, it fits very well. The only thing I would change is to slightly tighten up the sleeves. I matched the shirt with those khaki chinos, which also fit very well, though they would benefit from being hemmed. Footwear is once again those brown suede saddle shoes. Let's go on to outfit number four. Starting this one off is that blue gingham shirt, which is a great pattern for the summertime. Keeping with the casual nature of the shirt is the button down collar. And of course, I rolled up the sleeves. For the pants, I went with those blue jeans. Typically, I do prefer a darker indigo color, but this medium wash works well with the relaxed summer vibes of the outfit. Once again, we go back to those suede saddle shoes to round out the look. Now it's on to outfit number five. Time to bring in that short sleeve gray button down. Overall, the fit is pretty good, though I'll definitely be tailoring the sleeves, which currently are too big. The shirt is matched up with those navy chino shorts, which look good but the legs on these are also in need of some tailoring. Finally, we complete this outfit with those suede boat shoes. Which combo is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Do you want to learn how to adjust your thrift store items to fit you perfectly? Guys, check out these videos, where I show you how to tailor your shirts and pants 
easily from home.